Hey, what's up everyone? BNGF Plus here, also known as BNG Fun on my main channel. And I wanted to revive my tips and tricks series, which I haven't produced a video for in quite some time. As anyone who plays BMNG Drive knows, you know that a lot has changed over the past couple of years with new features and enhancements constantly being added to the game. I try and read through everyone's comments on my channel and will oftentimes see questions asking how I do certain things within the game. I wanted to use this series to help answer some of those questions and to give you a peek behind the scenes of how I make my videos. So to start things off, let's take a look at how I create some of the chase scenes in my videos. I do this by using the built-in Script AI Manager, which I'll give you a walkthrough on how to use in just a moment. But before I do that, let me show you how I used to create chases before Script AI Manager was available. So in the past, what I would do is I would use the AI Control app, which can be found on the menu on the left-hand side under Customize UI Apps, adding an app, and selecting the AI Control app up here. Once that app is added, you can then select a path or how you want the selected vehicle to behave. So right now it's disabled. I can flip it over to random and that vehicle will drive in a random matter based on a number of AI paths that have been added to the game. So then at that time, I would flip back to the police vehicle and usually I would drive the police vehicle myself giving chase to the randomly clean vehicle. Like I said, this is totally random and it really depends on which AI path the vehicle wishes to take. You know, I could do a little pit maneuver there. And then oftentimes what I would do is I would um, kind of manipulate the AI control here to flip it over, say, to stopping, which will stop the vehicle and end the chase. So now that, now that I've selected stopping, I'm going to unpause the game and you'll see the vehicle is now stopping. All right, so just resetting things again. And I should mention that you can also press the Alt-U key on your keyboard, which will hide the UI, including any apps that you have open. This is handy if you're recording videos or taking screenshots. So let's take a look at the Script AI Manager next. The Script AI Manager was a tool that was added recently, and it allows you to record various paths of vehicles and play them back in real time. So let's take a look at how we open the Script AI Manager. You're gonna press the F10 key on your keyboard. This will open the new BeamNG World Editor. Select Tools from the top menu and select Script AI Manager. This will show you a list of all of the vehicles that you've spawned in the game. You can see currently I have four vehicles that I've spawned. Uh, two of them are currently visible on my screen. That's the ETK uh, 1300 and the ETK 800, the police one. As the name implies, it allows you to record a script of the vehicle which can be played back in real time. So in order to record one of these scripts, you're gonna click on the record icon beside the vehicle that you have selected. So I'm gonna click on record. You can see the state is now recording and I'm gonna start driving the vehicle in the manner that I want it to drive. Once I finish driving the path, I can then click on the stop recording button on the right hand side. Now that I've reset the vehicle, you can see the path has now been drawn as a red line on the map. If I click on the play button, which is beside the record button on the vehicle you have selected, the vehicle will now follow this path. Just like we did before, we can now flip back to the police vehicle and record ourselves chasing the suspect vehicle. The main difference being here is that the suspect vehicle will now follow a scripted path rather than driving randomly around the map. The AI paths can also be drawn for multiple vehicles at once. So in this case, I'm also going to press the record button for the police vehicle. And as the suspect vehicle is fleeing, I'm actually going to record the path and I'm doing so right now for the police vehicle. Once I've recorded that path, I'm going to click on stop recording again. And if I turn around, you can actually see that two paths have been drawn, a red one and a green one. Red one indicating the suspect vehicle pass, path and the green one indicating the police vehicle path. You can now click on the play button at the very top of the script AI manager, which will play back all of the vehicles that have been recorded. You can see the status of the playback beside each vehicle. So both vehicles are now showing playing at 0%. The game is currently paused. As soon as I unpause it, you will see both vehicles following the respective paths. Just pausing here again, I wanna do a couple of things now. First thing I'm gonna do is scroll to the bottom of the script AI manager as it might be hidden. There's a display path checkbox. I'm gonna uncheck that display path and that's actually gonna remove those colored paths from the screen. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the F10 key and that's gonna clear away the world editor as well as the script AI manager. 
Now that the screen is being cleaned up a bit, we can look at how we'd like to position the camera in order to capture the chase scene. If I press my escape key and open the menu, I can then open photo mode, which will allow me a free camera that I can position around the map. I'm just using my WASD keys to move the camera around as well as my mouse. Once I have the camera positioned to where I'd like it to be, I can click on the three dots in the bottom right hand corner and set the field of view. Once again, I could fine tune uh, the position of the camera using the WASD keys. And just like before, I can press Alt-U to hide the UI. And you can see now we have a completely um, clean user interface and I can unpause the game in order to capture uh, the chase scene. So in summary, I'm able to use the Script AI Manager to have the vehicles perform in a predictable manner. This is great for car chase scenes, as well as for placing the camera so that you can capture your chases at the perfect angles. This isn't to say that I use this tool for all of my chases, however it is handy to capture certain elements of the chase. A lot of times I'll use it for one vehicle while I drive the other. The tool is also useful to time certain events. For example, you can be driving one vehicle and have the Script AI Manager pull another vehicle in front of you to create a T-bone crash. Or if you're driving a police car, you can have it scripted so that a suspect car will pull over once you're behind it. It's quite a powerful tool, and I encourage you to do some experimentation of your own to see what you can come up with. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment, or if you have any suggestions on future tips and tricks videos, let me know in the comments below.